Vigorous Steve here. Let's get started by explaining what Methylene Blue actually is, what it's used for medically, and most importantly, which dosages it's prescribed in, so you know which dosage ranges you need to avoid, because the medical dosages can come with a slew of potential side effects. Methylene Blue, also known as Methylthionium Chloride, is a dye and a medication which is commonly used as a nootropic, as a mitochondrial function enhancer, as an anti-aging and longevity compound, and might even be used as a performance enhancing drug. The applications of methylene blue are vast and varied, with over 28,000 studies available for literature review. I'll be attempting to make sense of all of the potential benefits and side effects in this deep dive video. Now, if you feel that I left something out, feel free to post your citations and interpretations down below in the comment section, and I'll gladly make an addendum video if there's a lot more to discuss. Methylene blue was first synthesized in 1876 by German chemist Heinrich Caro, and initially used as a textile dye to stain silk, wool, and cotton, and paper in various shades of blue. And then 10 years later, in 1886, Dr. Paul Ehrlich discovered that methylene blue also stains live neurons blue, and it had the same effect on plasmodium found in infected human blood. Plasmodium is the parasite that causes malaria. And then five years later, in 1891, with the help of Dr. Paul Gutman, they successfully treated malaria in human patients using methylene blue as a treatment. It was also used in the First and Second World War as an anti-malaria medication, and in 1933, it was found to be an antidote for carbon monoxide poisoning, as well as cyanide poisoning. Methylene blue has been widely used as a medical dye due to its strong staining properties and its ability to bind to biological tissues. Its bright blue color and ability to interact with biological structures make it a valuable tool for medical procedures and diagnostics. Methylene blue has been used as a medical dye for the staining in histology and microbiology, which helps to visualize cells, bacteria, and tissues under a microscope. It's been used as a surgical marker. Surgeons use it to trace lymphatic drainage or identify damaged tissues. Methylene blue as a medical dye has various diagnostic applications. It's injected to detect fistulas, leaks, or structural abnormalities in the body. And as a medical dye, it's vital in procedures to aid in identifying specific tissues, such as during sentinel lymph node mapping in cancer surgery. Currently, methylene blue is being extensively studied for its potential uses in neuroprotection and Alzheimer's disease, to inhibit monoamine oxidase, to inhibit nitric oxide synthase, and inhibit guanolite cyclase, and as a redox agent in cellular metabolism, contributing to mitochondrial function. Wait, what? Not so fast there, Steve. Methylene blue is a nitric oxide synthase inhibitor? That's not bodybuilding approved. What about my massive masculine pumps in the gym? Don't worry, gym bros, everything will be explained and debunked in this video. But before we start debunking, it's very important for you to know that methylene blue is studied and administered at much, 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 much higher dosages than we would generally recommend for nootropic or performance enhancing purposes. Here in this study performed by Golvin et al, published in January 2021, so a very recent good review index paper, titled Methylene Blue for the Treatment of Health Conditions, a Scoping Review. In this study, the researchers indexed 16 previously performed studies, which investigated various medical conditions where methylene blue was shown to have beneficial therapeutic effects. When you scroll down to table 1, 2, and 3, you see that the dosages are all well above 5 mg daily, going all the way up to 390 mg methylene blue twice daily for 7 days consecutively, which is what, 780 mg methylene blue every single day for 7 days in total, which are insane, insane dosages that nobody would recommend to healthy individuals for all of the reasons that we'll get into. At 5 mg daily, methylene blue might alleviate symptoms of depression and anxiety as it acts as a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, raising serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine levels in the brain. More on that a little bit later on. And at 50 mg per day, methylene blue might alleviate pain after surgery, potentially by reducing oxidative stress and improving wound healing. Now, personally, I use 10 mg methylene blue every single day after my surgeries. I did femtolasic eye surgery, I did gynecomastia surgery, I did liposuction at the same time, and I had orthopedic leg surgery all within 10 days, right? Get all of the surgeries out of the way. 
after the surgeries were done and dusted for, I used 10 milligrams of methylene blue every single day to help as an antioxidant and potentially improve wound healing. Um, but I did have significant pain in my leg after the orthopedic plates was removed up until the two week mark. And then from one day to the next, the pain was gone and I could walk normally. I had no pain in my eyes, minus one day after the surgery and minimal pain in the uh, breast area where the gynecomastia tissue was removed and the liposuction took place. So um, I could say that methylene blue aided in my recovery. And another study I want to highlight, again, you can find all citations down below as usual in case you're interested, performed by Zaid Kazina et al., published on September 29th, 2022, so that's even more recent, titled Clinical Effectiveness and Prospects of Methylene Blue, a Systemic Review. In this study, the researchers reviewed all relevant clinical trials revolving around brain diseases, cancer imaging and diagnosis, infectious diseases such as malaria and C19, and cardiovascular diseases. And here, the investigated dosages are anywhere between 50 milligrams daily up to 280 milligrams daily. Again, these are not the dosages that we're looking for. Besides these two review papers, I couldn't really find much scientific evidence revolving around very low and modest dosages of methylene blue, let's say three milligrams to 15 milligrams in a single serving multiple times per week to daily use. So we might have to go a little bit more with the anecdotal evidence from the fitness and nootropic community over the scientific evidence, because all of the scientific evidence is usually around 10 milligrams, 50 milligrams, 100 milligrams, 200, 300, 800 milligrams. And again, those are not the dosages that we're after here. So first, let's look into the medical applications of methylene blue so you know what it's actually being used for and prescribed for in humans. It's prescribed in methemoglobinemia. Guess how many times I had to try to pronounce that one? Methemoglobinemia. One milligram to two milligrams for one kilogram of body weight intravenously over five to 30 minutes, which might be repeated after 60 minutes if needed for a maximum of seven milligrams per one kilogram of body weight daily. So if you're a hundred kilogram bodybuilder suffering from methemoglobinemia, that's up to 700 milligrams methylene blue daily. And this is coming straight off my screen because it's impossible to remember and to pronounce without looking at my screen. So here we go again. Methemoglobinemia is a condition where hemoglobin can't carry oxygen effectively as the iron in hemoglobin is oxidized from a ferrous to ferric state. Methylene blue acts as a cofactor for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate dependent methemoglobulin reductase, which can reduce ferric iron back to ferrous iron needed to restore oxygen carrying capacity of hemoglobin. You know, it also increases the oxygen carrying capacity of hemoglobin. Myonostal tripyrophosphate, but we'll save that for a separate deep dive, dropping in the near future, coming soon. So subscribe now if you haven't su subscribed already, if you're interested in myonostal tripyrophosphate for overall endurance benefits. During chemotherapy, methylene blue is used to treat iphosphamide-induced neurotoxicity at 50 milligrams intravenously every four to eight hours for a total dose of 150 milligrams to 300 milligrams daily. During cancer surgery is used to um, map Sentinel lymph nodes at 10 milligrams uh, in a one milliliter solution or 50 milligrams per five milliliter solution administered subcutaneously. It's, they're used as a dye to identify lymph nodes in surgical oncology. Methylene blue is being used in the treatment of vasoplegic syndrome occurring during septic or cardiogenic shock where it's used in refractory hypotension when vasopressors are ineffective, in which case the dose is anywhere between one milligram to two milligrams per one kilogram of body weight, administered intravenously over 10 to 20 minutes, continued with a quarter milligram to two milligrams per one kilogram of body weight every hour if needed, as long as the vasoplegic syndrome and refractory hypotension is present. Is being used in cyanide poisoning, one milligram to two milligram per one kilogram of body weight intravenously as an adjuvant therapy in combination with sodium thiosulfate and sodium nitrite. Methylene blue is currently being investigated during clinical trials for Alzheimer's disease and neurodegenerative disorders at 60 milligrams to 300 milligrams orally daily. Um, it's being um, investigated during clinical trials for potential fluorona C19 acute and long hauler syndrome resolvement at dosages between 0.5 milligrams to 2 milligrams per 1 kilogram body weight intravenous daily or 1 milligram to 4 milligrams per 1 kilogram of body weight orally daily. So again, all of these previously mentioned conditions, uh, close to hundreds 
of milligrams. Methylene blue is sometimes being prescribed for off-label purposes to treat urinary tract infections, usually in combination with other antibiotics. Add 65 milligrams to 100 milligrams orally two to three times daily for a total of 130 to 300 milligrams daily. And methylene blue is also used to treat priapism, a prolonged erection that lasts for hours and might damage your penile tissue. At 50 milligrams per 5 milliliters to 100 milligrams per 10 milliliters by intracovernosal injection. And this is off label use as well, uh, usually administered after first line treatments fail. So they would do a blood aspiration from the penis or administered alpha agonists like phenylephrine. Um, and if that fails, then well, an intracovernosal injection of methylene blue might be required. Um, again, methylene blue works as a guanolite cyclase inhibitor, reducing nitric oxide signaling and relieving prolonged erections. And uh, it used to be prescribed in the treatment of malaria, but it's now largely replaced by modern anti-malaria medication. Previously, it was prescribed at 36 milligrams to 73 milligrams orally every eight hours for three to four days. So again, over several days, uh, hundreds of milligrams, not the dosages that we're after in this deep dive. And to further drive that point home, since I'm sure you're already hopelessly lost in the milligram per kilogram of body weight dosage ranges, I did you a solid. All you have to do is like this video and leave a couple comments for the algorithm to show me some love. 